Well, hello, hello, everybody, and happy Thursday night to you. It is Thursday, right? <laughs> um, I think so. Yesterday was Wednesday, so we're going for Thursday. It is another late night Thursday stamping <laughs> with you girls. So um, had a busy, busy afternoon, later afternoon. Um, I was at work this afternoon for a little bit. I went into the office and I came home around four and I found my uncle uh, in the backyard um, busting up my driveway and my slab from underneath my garage. And he had been working at it for like two hours or I don't know, an hour maybe already. And wow, he did a fabulous job and he busted up everything that needed to get busted up. I had a beautiful slab. There was really not a crack in it, but with having to, um, I'm just, um, I'm just trying to get the page up here. Um, but with having, um, to re-pour a slab to have four foot high frost walls, um, and have it frost protected, you need to have, you have to pour a new slab. So, so yes, needless to say, that part of this project is done, which is exciting. And we had to move our garden shed because that was actually in the way as well. So he had, I don't know, a special mas machine. Hi, Karen. He has a special tr machine. Um, it's got like the rubber tires that go around and I'm probably horrible for not knowing exactly the terminology, but he had pitchfork type things on the front and all he did was he like scooped right up and picked it up and moved it away. So <laughs> he made um, really a really short order of that. So yay, all right, hi Sue, thanks for joining. We're gonna get started here in just a second. So I got everybody ready, I can watch your comments. So if you look at my cheeks and they look really rosy, it's because I was outside almost all night working outside and it's still not warm out. So I'm not so excited about this middle of April stuff and it's cold. Hi, Carol, thanks for watching, good evening. So I've got really rosy cheeks tonight because of how cold it was. So hi, Angela, thanks for tuning in. Um, we're just talking about what I was working on for the last couple hours. Busting up probably a thousand square feet of concrete. I didn't do it personally, my uncle did, and two, two guys that were with him. So, and then moving a garden shed and then moving my patio. So little by little, this project is getting done. So I've got my excavator figured out and I just gotta narrow down who my concrete guy is. And I'll tell you girls, I'm learning about building stuff. I never realized that I would know all these different terms for insulation and drywall and sheetrock and Oh my God, the list goes on. So thank goodness my dad is here to help me and my boyfriend Tyler because I would be lost without them. So <laughs> it's nice to have them helping me along with this project. So fun, fun, fun. How are you girls tonight? It's Thursday, one more day and then it's Friday and everybody always loves Friday. So hi Peggy, thanks for joining. Peggy, I was thinking of you tonight because when I pulled out this card kit to put together, I realized that I think you just bought this punch. Hi Heather. Hi, Stacy. Thanks for joining me, girls. So um, we're going to make a card tonight. It's actually, I'm very proud of myself. I was thinking all day, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? Because I knew that I would be busy working on the driveway. And I have, from the June monthly card class, I have a card to put together. And so some of you that have been stamping with me for a while, since basically a year ago, you may have made this card. Hi, Char. Um, hey, Stormy. So uh, some of you have made this card, but this way you get to see it again and remember it. It's a blast from the past. And for those of you who just started stamping with me or didn't make this card, then this is going to be fun. So hi, Becky. Thanks for joining. I'm so happy to be with you girls here tonight. So I'm going to pull up my sleeves and I'm going to flip the camera around and I'm going to pull open the catalog just like I did last night. I featured a suite basically for this card and I'm going to, so the card from last night and so the same thing for tonight. So let me pull my, pull my catalog here so I can show you some of the products that we're gonna be using tonight. Hi, Diane. Diane, you may remember this card. I know that Heather did this card. Dar probably did this card. So let me see if I move this over just slightly here. So this is in the annual catalog and this is called the Perennial Essence suite of product. 
So on this side, it has different samples that are made up. And in this suite of product, there is a floral essence stamp set, which looks like this. So we're gonna be using like this out of here and we'll be using the leaves out of here. This is a photo polymer. Hey, Jennifer, Jennifer, oh my gosh, you sent me a card today. Okay, girls, 20 seconds. I gotta show off some love I got. Hang on, hang on. I love happy mail. Happy mail is awesome. And Jennifer sent me some happy mail. So this was what I guess Jennifer's on. Shout out to Jennifer. Hello. So Jennifer used, I believe this is called Inspiring Iris. And it says sending hugs, prayers, and lots of loves. Granny Apple Green Gorgeous Grape with Whisper White. And Stella all over the flowers and the leaves. I love it. And the inside says, thanks for always encouraging hugs, Jen. And then I love what she did down here. She stamped the flowers and put the thinking of you across the flowers like that. Isn't that awesome? And I love it. Thanks for sending me happy mail, Jen. I love it, love it, love it. <laughs> so cool beans. I wanted to share that with everybody. Okay. So back to the perennial essence suite with the floral essence. We're going to be using this stamp set. And it is a bundle. And the bundle comes with... It comes with this punch. And Peggy, I believe this is what you just got. I'm trying to get the light on it like that. And what it is, it's like a tri, like triangle kind of, and it's got two, three petals here, and it punches out that flower. So we'll be using that punch. And then also in here is the designer series paper. And this time I was smart and I pulled some of the paper here. The paper is oh so pretty. Um, it's Monet inspired. So this one I think is my favorite sheet. You girls know I love purples and greens. And the back side is like yellows and pinks and flowers. And then there's a more solid piece with the green on the back. Um, there's some with some blue. I like this pattern a lot as well. There's some flowers. So I just wanted to show you, I like that pink back here for some of the coloring. But yeah, so that's the designer series paper that comes in this suite of products. And then the other thing that's in here that's super cool, there's vellum. You forget about this, girl. <laughs> I, I sure forget about this vellum, but with that timeless tropical pineapple set, this So Saffron is so, so cool to put behind that pineapple cut. Hi, Teresa Carl. Thanks for joining. There's three colors of vellum. So one is the green, one is a, the pink, the flirty flamingo, I believe, petal pink actually. And if you girls ever wonder what colors go in the back of here, it usually tells you the color. And in this case, it doesn't. It says perennial essence con cardstock, but this has three colors of vellum in it. And in the, the catalog here, it doesn't say, but it's basically so saffron, like the granny apple-ish kind of green, and then petal pink. There's also this really, really, really pretty ribbon. Diane loves the vellum. Yes, it's so pretty. This, or it's called organdy striped ribbon, and it's in petal pink. It makes such pretty easy bows. It's very pliable. Like, um, I guess you can say you can manipulate this ribbon. Sometimes you get ribbons and they're so stiff and thick that you can't tie them into nice bows, but this stuff is really soft. So I didn't use that on the card, but I wanted to show you that. And then lastly in this suite of products are these awesome, <laughs> they're called Perennial Essence Floral Centers. And we are gonna be using these. <laughs> so these things to me, hi Karen, <laughs> they remind me of yellow hairy spiders, but they're yellow, so they're not black. <laughs> so it's like, they're like, you find these on the floor and you're like, what the heck are these things? They're crazy looking, but they make super, super cool middles of flowers. So they are available in the catalog. So we are gonna use those tonight. So I'm gonna leave those set. But this uh, Perennial Essence Suite is found on 106, 107. And then when you flip it over is when you can see the paper across the top and you can see the stamp set along the bottom. Hi, Pam. Thanks for joining in. Okay, so that's the suite of products that inspired me for making this card. And so I know these stamp cases are really shiny when you get them in the light. So this is the card we're going to be making, and some of you girls might recognize it. It is a fun fold because this opens this way and this opens that way, and it just is super fun. 
And um, in this case, I used the word love and I made it into a wedding card. It says, here's to a wonderful couple and all the happiness we'll share together. And I believe that that comes from parcels and petals. Um, and then this one, I made it into a thinking of you card and the thinking of you and this one says thanks. And so those two sentiments, thanks for sharing, Char. I love it when Char shares because that reminds me to tell you girls to share and like and comment a lot. I love it. So that comes from Good Morning Magnolia. And here you got hello, thanks, and thinking of you. And this is my Good Morning Magnolia. We did that 3D project with that a couple weeks, I don't know, a week or two ago. But I always put my two sets when there's two cases. I put them in the same case back to back like this because it saves a case um, and it make, makes one extra spot on your shelf for another stamp set, right? Okay, so I think today we're going to make a hello card. So I'm gonna pull hello out of here and I will be doing a drawing for tonight's uh, Facebook Live. Whoever gets the drawing will get the card. I'll put the card in the mail for them. I didn't do the drawing from last night. I have the card sitting there. I just didn't look through and have a winner selected. So thanks for sharing, Diane. Okay, so this is the card we're gonna work on. We're just gonna do hello down along the bottom and we're gonna be doing a little stamping with these leaves and then we are gonna be stamping the, the flower image and that's like that. Okay, so girls and boys, <laughs> look at this. I just realized when I was working on this card, hey, Patty, I was just realizing that what are we using again? What does this look like? <laughs> it's the rectangle shaped stitched framelits. So <laughs> again, like here is another example where these rectangle stitched framelits are being used. So <laughs> another example of why you should have these in your arsenal. So this was the size that we're using for that. So I'm just gonna set these off to the side because I'm gonna be doing die cutting with you. Normally I've been doing the die cutting ahead of time, but for tonight, I thought, oh, we might as well die cut together. So the first thing though I wanna do on this card is this is some of the petal pink vellum and I'm gonna be stamping the flowers in the flirty flamingo. And when you stamp the water-based ink on the flirty flamingo vellum, then it takes a little bit extra to dry. So that's the first thing I wanna do on this card. So I'm gonna open this up. And I want to do this first so that it just has time to dry. So over here, remember what we do when we use our punch is we like to look at the bottom to see how the bottom is. In this case, the two petals are across the bottom. So when I stamp this, I'll stamp one like this and one like this. Okay. So this, hi, Carol. Thanks for watching tonight. We're making a pretty card using the Perennial Essence suite of products. So this is my flirty flamingo. Now again, you're stamping on vellum, and that's all right to do. If you have a hard time with getting your ink to dry in the vellum, just grab out your heat gun. The heat gun will help it dry a little bit faster. But what I thought I would do is get these stamped and then set them off to the side while we do some of the rest of the card. So when you look at this, you might be able to see that it's like kind of gliss. Oh yeah, there you can see it. It's really glisteny. That is super wet. So. I'm pretending I'm on my heat gun and I was blowing on it. So, okay, so I want to set that off to the side so that I don't mess that up. That's the only thing we need flirty flamingo for. So I'll set that off to the side. All right, so let's look at this. I'll tell you some measurements here too. So we've got our flirty flamingo base and I gotta show you girls, look at my chicken scratch for notes. Like, ah, uh, yeah, don't like look at that, that's crazy. But I think I can make heads of tails of it. So I'll read them off to you. So this is five and a half and it's by six and 11 sixteenths, okay? So, and I'll get, let's see if I get my ruler out just to verify that. <laughs> I got my handy dandy triple A ruler. And so we know that this is four and a quarter because that's where it needs to fold at. And yeah, it's like two and a half. So four and a quarter and two and a half. So yeah, I guess I'd have to do the math on that. But basically when you have this folded over 
were just, yeah, 11 16 So I think that's right, girls. So we have five and a half and six and 11 16 It's scored at four and a quarter. So that gives you your traditional card size here when you fold that. Grab out your bone folder and burnish the edges. Okay, so there's that. Then we have our inside piece. Our inside piece is your traditional mat. It measures four by five and a quarter. So we're not gonna glue that in though. We have to make sure we glue this little flap for this one down first, but we're, that's what this size is. I just have a scrap of very vanilla here. I think what we can do is we'll stamp the hello on here and then what we'll do is we'll die cut it. So I'm gonna grab my Mossy Meadow and when I stamp, oop, I got it all over here. Um, when I stamp on here, you wanna make sure you stamp down lower to the bottom because you're gonna be cutting it out. Remember my trick about stamping and practicing? Oop, in that case, I saw that I didn't have a lot of ink on there and maybe my ink pad needs to be re-inked. But what I do um, is I'll go to somewhere else on the ink pad and try to get a little bit more ink on it and see if that makes a difference. It does. So as you use your ink pad, sometimes you, gen well, so generally you go to the middle of the ink pad. And by doing that, the middle gets used up first. And so just go to the outside or re-ink it. Get those re-inkers, girls. Just a reminder that the ink colors are going to be retiring soon. The 2018 to 2020 are retiring soon. And some of that stuff is going to be disappearing fast. I would not wait until May to get some of that stuff. If there are colors you want, you definitely want to get them sooner rather than later. And actually, we're going to leave that open because I have over here my leaf stamp and that I've got in the corner here. So this is what I would put on my envelope if I were you and you're stamping your envelope. I always try to match stuff. So I'm gonna put that in the bottom corner here. And let's see how I got it. It's like, oh, let's move that out of the way. So we got a little leaf in the bottom here. So that's when I have a hello card, I like to leave the inside blank so I can fill up with lots of words and sentiment, like my own personal sentiments. Okay, so we've got that ready. So <laughs> I haven't die cut in front of you girls lately because I shake the entire table when I do it. But let's see if I can pull it up here. Everybody's doing okay so far. Send me some love, girls. Okay, so got the big shot under here. And I've got a lot of stuff in here yet from the last time. Didn't really clean it. <laughs> so here's a trick for you with your stitched rectangles. So most of the time, people would either go like this or like this. And I think it was Diane, I think it was you, Diane, correct me if I'm wrong, but Diane told me to go at a di diagonal or somebody in the last month or two said to run your stitch, di your stitch rectangles at a diagonal through there because it puts less pressure under the, like the machine, it just, watch this, it just, it slides through here so much easier. When you put all of this like that or like this, all of that metal is underneath the machine at the same time and it makes like a crunk sound and it feels like you're breaking the machine. So that's the trick. And um, Diane, you can tell me if it wasn't you, maybe it was somebody else and I'm just having a brain fart, but yes. So that is my little trick with the rectangles. And so now that you've got that, this just like pops right out of here, love it. And it puts that stitching all the way around the side, super cool. Okay, so this is a little bit of garbage, so we'll throw that away, okay. Um, Bonnie told us to do that at the retreat, you're so right. Bonnie, you are the girl that knows it. So Bonnie, yeah, cause Diane, you were having problems with it making that noise, I think. And Bonnie was the one that told us, yes, that's true. Okay, so. Our green piece here, our mossy, is two and one sixteenths by three and five sixteenths. Girls, I don't know if you realize it, but now, but I like to use sixteenths of an inch when I make my <laughs> my make cards. So, um, so two and one sixteenth by three and five sixteenths. And then here was our vanilla piece. And okay, let's go over here real quick. We have here a piece of mossy meadow, and I'm just gonna get my ruler and measure for you. 
Um, this must be two and three sixteenths, and I think that this is five and a quarter. So five and a quarter by two and three sixteenths, and the DSP then is it is five by two. I did that on purpose because when you cut your designer series paper at two, you can get six rows or six columns out of that. So this was two, you know what I mean? So that's why I cut it like that. Okay, cool beans. Okay, all right, let's flip this over. We can put a little bit of liquid glue on the back of that. It's all right, so let's get that glued. Okay, ah, Jennifer doesn't like sixteenths of an inch, I think. Is that what you were trying to write on there? <laughs> I have learned to work in sixteenths, and when I stand with my friend Gina, she hates sixteenths of an inch. <laughs> so, all right, now this is just gonna get glued onto here, so let's flip that over. Um, yes, putting that at a diagonal really makes a big difference with make that machine making noise. Now, when you put this on here, if you look at this, like I think that these three flowers should face this way. They look better to me facing that way. Um, so that's another tip with your designer series paper. When you're going to glue it down, um, take a look at which way looks better. To me, the leaves are going that way. So that's why I'm gonna put it this way. But don't um, don't accidentally glue designer series paper the wrong way. <laughs> so in this case, it probably wouldn't make that big of a difference. So, um, all right, so there's that. So then here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna glue the vanilla stitched rectangle onto our piece of mossy meadow. Okay. I will pass. It's tough enough with eighths. <laughs> yeah. So, I've learned to work in sixteenths of an inch because sometimes I don't like to have that eighth of an inch all the way around. I want less than that. So I got really used to working with that. Okay, so this flirty flamingo piece. This is two and three quarters and it's scored at a half of an inch. So either score it at two and a quarter or from this side, just scored at a, a half. Ooh, yep, that's a half. My numbers are wearing off, okay? And then here we've got three and a half, okay? So it's three and a half by two and three quarters and score at a half inch, okay? So what we're gonna do on here now is we're gonna glue this onto our flirty flamingo piece. Okay, are you girls doing okay? Have you seen a card like this before? with this kind of a fold. I like this different fold. Okay, now, this is important. Some people get glue happy and they would have glued this in and then, then they would cry afterwards because they need to get this little flap underneath here. Okay, so what I would do is kind of eyeball where my leaf is at the bottom and I'm gonna attach it right above that. So it's gonna be something like so, okay, so what I would do is I'm gonna put a little bit of glue along the inside flap, just like this, all right, and we're gonna put that. Yeah, the colors are really fun. This is a cool spring card. I like the flirty flamingo with the mossy meadow. So I'm just giving this a second to adhere to the back of this, and then the next step, what we'll do is we're just gonna put glue around the back of this mat and it's just gonna go inside of our card. Very simple. I mean, honestly, girls, you could do this style of a card with any different like folds in the, like it doesn't have to be exactly like this. You can make your folds a little bit wider. You can make them longer. So I'm just centering this inside the middle. All right, so far so good. All right. Boom, boom, look at that. Okay, so far, loving it. Now here we get back to this, and my way to test if this is dry is I put my finger on it and I get ink on it, and that's okay. If it's not completely dry, it's all right. I'm just gonna be very careful when I go to punch it out. I'm just gonna try not to brush against the ink 
So what we're gonna do is just punch both of these out. How many of you girls have this stamp set and this punch? Did you get it? Do you like it? Have you used it? Like, I feel like I got this and I used it maybe twice and then I forgot about it. So I'm glad that, <laughs> that we're doing this card and it helps me remember that I love this vellum. It's so pretty. Okay, so that's garbage. And now what we're gonna do is, um, it's really hard to like, like curl vellum and especially cause this is wet yet. But if this was dry, I, you know what? I'm just gonna do it anyways. So I'm just gonna gently take my bone folder and I'm gonna kind of curl my petals just a little bit. Cause you know me, I like a little bit of dimension. I like things to pop out. And you know what, quite frankly, if the ink spreads, <laughs> look at, see the ink wasn't dry. It got pink all over my finger. So what you just, and look at me, I'm wiping it on my wrist. <laughs> I'll wash my hands later. But it kind of wiped off the center of this, which is okay because we're gonna be covering them up and then we're going to be putting a yellow floral center in the middle. So just be careful. If you are doing stamping on vellum at home, just make sure you dry it. Another thing that would be good too is if you wanted to emboss, uh, what you could do is dip your stamp in Versamark and then dip it in the petal, um, the Fleur de Flamingo ink and then cover it up with a clear embossing powder and heat it, then that would be really cool too and it would give it like a glossy look. But here I'm making my little feather, or my little flower. So Karen, you have it and used it early in the catalog but not lately and Patty doesn't have it. Yeah, and Diane, you don't have it either. So. Think about it, like they make pretty flowers. So all I'm gonna do is glue this right onto my piece of very vanilla and just put a little bit of glue back here. Hi, Angie, thanks for joining us. All right, so here's this. Are you girls excited for the new catalog to come out? Oh my goodness, so if you're a demonstrator, I understand that next week, Tuesday, I think it's Tuesday, if it's the 24th, we get access to look at a PDF version of it. So, so fun. And then I think we can start ordering from it in early May. Yay, happy dance for me. <laughs> I always like the real catalog though. I hate getting PDFs because <clears throat> it's never as much fun as just flipping through the catalog. I don't know, girls. Do you like paper as much as me? <laughs> do you like when you read a book and you look at a tablet or do you have to have um, the paper copy? So. There we go, look at this. Oh, it's like the finishing touch to this card is putting on that floral center right in the middle. Oh my gosh, like that just makes this card pop, like pretty much pop. And you can see by me, I didn't rub too badly around here. I still had all my veins from my flowers. They didn't smear off, but again, you could take your heat tool and just heat that up. Like Angie, I think you got a heat tool now. That's what you could use your heat tool besides embossing is heating up the ink on the vellum. So, all right, so you then start making, oh yeah, you are so lucky then start making things. I'm with you, I'm preferring, oh, paper copy, yes. I love the paper copy. So, all right, girls, well, that was fun. So, could you see yourself making this card? Or like this pattern of a card and just with different stamps and different paper? Just, that's what I love about card making is like, if you see a pattern or if you see a style like you like, but you don't have those stamps or necessarily that color of paper, you can make something with what you have. So that's what's cool about that. So um, I'm super excited. So I have some drawings to do. I have to go back to last night and I think the card that we made last night was the memorable mosaic. And then for tonight, I'll do a drawing for tomorrow night. So oh, tomorrow is Friday. So, I'm not sure what time I'm going live. I know that after Tyler's done with work, we have to run over to Menards because we have essential work to do in the basement to prepare for our boiler that's going to be put in the, <laughs> in the basement next week. So, um, so e it might be try to do it earlier so that, um, so that we can just go do our thing and Tyler will definitely be working till five. So I'm gonna try to be on my A game tomorrow and we'll try to go a little bit earlier instead of doing our Friday night late night stamping. <laughs> I'll try to go a little bit earlier so, so that I don't keep you girls waiting all night. So, all right, so 
Hi, Rhonda, you joined us a little bit late. You're gonna have to watch the replay, but you have already made this card, so um, you could always watch it tomorrow. So, wow, thanks for joining in Ruth and Patty and Karen and, and Stormy and Jennifer. Oh my God, I love you girls so much. So you give me something to look forward to as well at night. <laughs> so um, I don't know if I have much else for tonight, but I am so excited to be with you again tomorrow. So I will try to put a Facebook notification about when I'll be going live for sure, and it'll probably be earlier. So. We'll do some drawings for people for tomorrow, and I have a special giveaway for tomorrow. I had a half off item that I got to um, order when I closed a workshop today, and I bought one of the a new bundle, and I'm gonna be, um, um, uh, I don't wanna say auctioning it off, but I'll be giving it away to somebody who watches the video tomorrow night, so super fun. Okay, I don't think I have much else, so I'm so happy you joined me tonight. Thank you so much. I love you girls. Hugs, peace, happiness, sunshine to you always. Bye.